Hello, hello, my friends. Welcome back to the Blushing Mint. It is Dion, and I am here again to share with you guys another quick idea that we can be using for our idea journals. And this one is on our list, and it is a handmade glassine bag. Um, so these I have been making for quite some time, and they are super easy. They go together very quick, and they have fairly easy to obtain supplies. So this is what I have one that is finished, and this is our, was already in um, my journal here. But I thought, you know what? It's on my list. I'm going to show you guys how I make them. So they're super, they're just super easy. All you need is some book pages and um, deli sheets. So I make my faux glassine bags out of deli sheets. So like, you know, you go to the deli and you're going to get a donut out of the donut case. This is what they this is what you use to grab the donut out of the donut case with. Um, I have gotten mine on Amazon. I actually think maybe they're in my favorites list. If you look on my um, on my channel, I have an Amazon favorites list, and I think I have these listed. Um, they're like 500 sheets, and they were fairly inexpensive. So deli sheets, some book papers, some glue, your scissors, um, I use um, pinking shear scissors for mine, and then um, you can sew around your edges if you don't have a sewing machine. No worries, you don't have to sew around them. So that's all the supplies that you need. Now, I have a vintage um, French book. I believe it's French. Um, a vintage French book. Could be Italian. I don't know. I don't know. Some foreign language, some foreign language book that I got at a thrift shop. And the pages are awesome. They're like perfect size. So you want to look for a book. This book is um, four and a half by six and a half. Um, something like that works great for these. My other favorite book for these is my butterfly book, and this is Butterflies, Caterpillars, and Chrysalides. Um, and this one I got, I got it at a thrift shop, I believe. Um, you can look and see if it's available on Amazon or other book places. I don't know. Fairly inexpensive book, and I have ripped this book apart and used it. <laughs> in so many things. So anyway, that's really all you need to create these. So I took my I took my little foreign language book first and I cut down the pages to fit inside my glassine or my deli paper, okay? The next thing I want to do before I put it all together is I take the front sheet of my deli paper and I want to make it slightly shorter than the back sheet. So I grab my pinking shears here and I just come along and give it a little bit of a decorated edge. You could use um, Deckle scissors, you could use anything like that that works for you, that you have on hand. You don't need special supplies, and quite frankly, you don't even have to do this step if you don't want to. It's just something that I do that I do. Um, so then, my paper will fit right in here. And I clearly didn't cut straight, which is quite normal for me. So I'm going to straighten it up just a hair here. Without 
cutting my paper if that's possible. Okay, so now that I've got my top cut, all I need to do here, <laughs> super easy, is basically glue my edges down. So I do, I use my art glitter glue because I want a thin bead. So I use my art glitter glue across the bottom. And you can, of course my art glitter glue is not going to work, guys. Why would I expect anything different from my art glitter glue? Why? Why does it have to be this way? I don't know. It just does. Sometimes it's just non-cooperative. That's just how it is. Like an errant child. So you can put a little bit of glue underneath your book page. And then you want to glue along the edge of the bottom and the edge of your book page. Now, yes, I glued a little farther out there, but you'll see it. Art glitter glue tends to spread a little bit on glassing. Actually, all glue spreads a little bit on glassing. And so I give it its space. Oh, I forgot a step, friends. I forgot a step. It's all right. See, this is going to be fine. That's fine. Let me show you for real how you do it. <laughs> Oh my gosh, you guys, sometimes I kill myself. Um, oh, bless. You just have to let it go. Just let it go some days. Okay, so really, here's the process. Let's start all over again. Maybe I should just throw this video out the window and try again. But no, I am going to show you all my wacky weirdness because I am a hot damn mess. That's what I am today. It's it. I'm just going to be forthright and honest. That's me. Hot mess. Hot mess express. All right. So, really, to do it right, I mean, hello, flower on the book page. First. First step, flower on the book page. Okay? So, I have all these washi stickers and stuff that I've had for ages and a day that I got on Wish or wherever I got them from. I don't even know. So I find a pretty flower that I want to use. It shouldn't be this hard, but it is. Okay, I like that one. Yes, I do like that one. Okay, and it's a little, it's a little white for my book page. So a little brush and some vintage photo, and that's going to take the white out of that washi sticker and it will oh my goodness i got glue everywhere i'm multi I, I am a hot mess you guys literally it's what it is see now that's so much better it blends right in so the first step is to get your sticker place it wherever you would like on your page on whatever side Wherever it makes you feel good. I did like it over here. And put your sticker down. That is step one, friends. Step one in the process. The sticker. So important. I mean, because hello, that's what makes it super pretty. Okay, so now... There we have it. Now, step two. <laughs> oh, gosh, friends. Friends, friends. Thanks for being here while I am just creating a hot mess of this project. So step two is your scissors to create...
the edge or our pocket. Like so. Okay. So now we have our front flap. Now, now what we do, friends, is we glue around the edges. So we're going to glue across the bottom. Put a little bit of glue where our book page is. Oh, some days. Put our book page there. And then we glue around our book page. Like so. Fold it over. and let it dry. Now, if you're gonna sew around these, first of all, let it dry completely before you sew around. And all you have to do is just Cut around your pocket here. And if you don't want any space on the outside of the edge of your pocket, that's just fine. You don't have to have it. Um, I, I just do. And then I can sew. And then I can also trim after I have sewn. Because sometimes, let's face it, I'm not the neatest sewer. So, um, yeah, so I give myself a little edge there, and then you can um, do a decorative edge or whatever you want with your sewing. So set those aside. Now, the butterfly ones I love. These pages I love because you don't have to decorate them at all. The pages themselves are decorated enough. So all you have to do is just trim it to size of your, um, the size of your bag, whatever you wish it to be. So I trim the bottom of my um, image. Trim the sides of my image. Just neaten everything up here. Okay. Oh, I have an errant Y in here. Just so in looking at this, I am gonna cut my page right at the bottom of where that four number is at. And that should fit perfectly into my glassine bag. Now, I could if I wanted, you could round the corners of your edges. Um, you could ink them up if that's something that you want. Um, I just pretty much leave mine as it is. So glue along the back. You can do this on the paper, on the bag, whatever. It's just to keep that um, in place. Okay. And then I'm going to cut my bag 
Yeah, this is just a quick, easy, fun project. And I think they look awesome in our in our journals, um, because let's face it, anything that performs multiple duties in our journals um, is always a win in, in my book. And so these can be a pullout item and they can be a journal, you know, they could just be an extra... Um, piece of ephemera where you can just take the bag out and it can be used for um, whatever person the recipient wants or whatever thing the recipient wants it to be you know um, it could hold it could hold tags and other ephemera um, it can um, it can sit in a pocket it can be tucked in and it can be a flip it can be a it can be a tuck it can be whatever you need it to be inside your journal that is that's the beauty of these super easy pockets so let me show you how um what i'm talking about so from this point now you can take it to your sewing machine you can sew around it you can do whatever you would like to do with these or you could just leave them exactly as they are and put them into a journal let me show you how you could utilize this in our journal um so if this was our journal page here so i could put it into the page and glue the whole thing to the page and then I have my um, glassine pocket here for a tag or paper or whatever. I can glue it around the three sides. And then that gives me a pocket behind as well as the bag pocket itself. I can bring it over here to a corner and I can just glue the corner and the bottom. And that gives me a tuck spot here. I could put a hinge on it and just create a simple hinge mechanism and then it could also flip out and then we could cover this with paper and it could be a hidden journaling spot as well. Um, it can sit just into a pocket and it could have a tag inside of it. It can go into our pocket. We could line up on the back with our um, coffee dyed paper or a neutral um, piece of paper and it can be a journaling card as well as have the tag plus the bag inside our pocket. Um, so multiple, multiple options. These are a great bag like if you're selling, um, maybe you're a vendor or something and you do uh, Christmas events or something like that you could use this bag as a holder for like a set of Christmas tags so let's say you do a set of three or a set of four Christmas tags or whatever you do um, this could be a holder for your tags and then you've got a cute little glassine bag to go with it so super super versatile project friends um, an easy, easy mass make. You can use any kind of book pages that you have. Don't think you have to go buy extra book pages. Um, use the book pages that we took out of our idea journals here as your foundation. I should have, I should have done that. Just used one of the book pages that came out of our journals. <coughs> Pardon me. And then find a sticker or something to just put over the top of it. Anything will work, um, but you just need some book pages, you need um, a deli sheet and some glue, and if you have a sewing machine, you can sew. That's it, friends. Super, super easy project. I'm going to sew around mine, and um, then I'll show you, I'll pause, I'll sew around them, and I'll show you at the end of the video here in just a few minutes how they all came together. So 
Um, stay tuned, friends. Hang tight. Okay, well, my friends, I finished these, but um, this is going to have to be like a hot mess Monday video because <laughs> if you knew how long um, it took me to create these um, little pockets, you would just die because my sewing machine and I got into a major fight. So this is what my sewing machine was doing. Um, yeah, I got these balls of thread down here. It just, I mean, yeah, it was super special. So then I got it going again and <laughs> then it just started ripping the heck right out of my papers. So there went my two, um, foreign language ones. Yep. So I hurried up and I created two more. I didn't really hurry because this was after I had um, spent an hour dealing with my sewing machine, but I created two more and then I got my sewing machine working and these sewed up lovely. So there's those two and then the butterfly one here. And so I got those taken care of. And so this is our next project in our, for our idea journal. Um, I did this one here for in this book and I'm not sure where it's gonna go maybe just drop it in a pocket somewhere um, I have no idea I don't know what I'm gonna do with it I'm gonna tuck it there for now um, so yes so these are the um, handmade glassine bags using the deli sheets and book pages and stickers or just um, a decorative book page that you have, um, sewing machine, um, and it, as long as your sewing machine is working great, um, these are going to be easy. If it's not working good, I don't know, maybe don't attempt. Um, anyway, friends, regardless of my hot mess that I have created, I hope that um, this quick little video gives you an idea of some things you can do with some basic basic supplies um, with the addition of those deli sheets, which like I said, you can get 500 of them for I think under 11 bucks right now. I use mine a lot. So anyway, friends, I hope maybe you'll try this, pop this one into your idea journal and all the journals that you create because they really are a versatile pocket. Um, thank you again for joining me. Thank you for being here. Um, I hope you guys are taking time to create, and I look forward to visiting with you guys in the next video. And until then, friends, please be well, take care, and we'll chat again soon. Bye-bye.